Okay guys, you're here today with Aris Paul and his sidekick, Aris Rob. I think you're going to redo this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, right, I'm going to ask you some questions about the Atat. Okay. How long were the Atats in Star Wars? The Atat helmet, one of the most iconic helmets from Star Wars. So a few weeks ago, someone commented something about the Partisan helmet. Yeah that we just done. Updates next week. Uh, the partisan helmet and now it only had seconds of screen time. And that got me thinking, how many seconds of screen time does the ATAT helmet receive? And not only that, let's, let's expand on that. How many seconds of screen time does the ATAT driver character receive? God. What would be your guess? Well, I already guessed in there at 16 seconds. 16? Yeah, I, I think it's that low. I do. Uh, Ellis guessed the other day. And he I, said thought it'd, I thought it'd be minutes. <clears throat> yeah. Minutes. This is how long it's actually on screen. I'm going to start a clock down in this corner. Let's go. So I'm going to tell you everything that's wrong with the RS Atta helmet in less than the amount of time the whole character was on screen in Empire Strikes Back. Are you ready? Start the clock again. The paint colour, the cog colour, the little greeblers on the forehead, the canisters on the back, the tusks and the metal greebly on the forehead. Seven things. Seven things that's wrong. Hey, hold on, you're holding up six fingers. <laughs> Six things that's wrong. I don't know. I didn't time it. I don't know how I did. Okay, let's go through what's wrong with it. The colour. We visited the screen used helmet a number of times now. Collated a lot of information on, on one of the visits. We took a load of colour swatches and everything and we, we matched it to the best colour that we could. And at the time, I was more interested in other details and I was just like, oh, we'll, we'll, we'll get to the colour. So. Now it's time to get to colour because this has progressed. So we painted this one up that you can see here. Mm -hmm. We've seen this one many times now. This is our first prototype helmet. We painted the colour up so we could take it back, compare it to the original helmet, see how it compared and see how far out the colour was and then use that as a reference to get the colour right. Okay. This is what it looks like. Okay, so this is... The first prototype helmet, tusks missing and all, next to the original screen used helmet. This is it. Here's a photo now. Nice. Let's just leave this on screen. Let's just let's just take it in. Now, the colour to the naked eye is different. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now I'm not an expert on hues or colours. But I can tell you <laughs> But I can tell you this, the actual colour that we need is a little bit greyer and a little bit darker. Yeah. Okay. Now I don't know how to get from the paint that we've got to a little bit greyer and a little bit darker. But luckily, we borrowed a tool that can do exactly that. And it's called, a, I think it's called a spectrum photo meter. Wow. What was it called? He thinks it's a spectrometer, but on the back of it, it said spectrum photo meter. Okay. Or a spectrospotometer. meter. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's basically this little thing and you put it on and then you, you, you fire it a few times yeah. and then it collates all the information yeah. and then it tells you the the absolute closest match that yeah, yeah. that it can do. The guys that do high-end car painting, they, they, they use them, don't they? Yeah. yeah. Now, I'm going to correct you there. Okay. You're almost right. Oh. The guys that do high-end painting. High-end painting, yes. Because yes, we ain't painting right. cars. Exactly. <laughs> so, let me, uh, let me reach over 
Mm. Uh, cut away. Thank you. I like the way it's on metal. So let's get, let's Even get ball sake. Wait, 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 wait. Fuck's sakes. Okay, you've got 20 seconds to comply. Let's get the clock on the screen. Okay, Spectra 5 6 <laughs> you know. Start again. Start the clock. Spectra photometry, okay, is a tool that hinges on the quantitative analysis of molecules depending on how much light is abs absorbed by the colour compounds. Important features on spectrometers are spectral bandwidth. Like, <laughs> <laughs> did, did that in about 15 seconds, didn't it? Anyway, about five, mate. It's about five seconds. Five seconds. And this... That's the colour. This was the result. Now, all I can tell you is, when we put it up against that, which we'll do by the use of video trickery, mm -hmm. is that this colour is a little bit greyer, a little bit darker. Mm. So you now, I was, I was pretty impressed with the colour, actually. In the photographs, mm. it looks really close. I was being very... I, I, I thought it'd be night and day. I didn't think it was going to be as good as it was. Simon did a quite amazing job matching the colour. Right. Just needed to be spectroanalysed with the molecules. Yeah? <laughs> and the molecules are telling us a little bit darker, a little bit greyer. My God. So that will fix the colour. Now, we probably didn't really need to go to this extent because when you see the two helmets together in this photograph, here it is again. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's it's so difficult to tell. And uh, we were in the sunlight and we were mistakenly picking up the wrong helmet because it, it was pretty close, to be fair. Okay. But it's wrong. And now I know I can prove it's wrong because this is right. Technology. So this is going to be the colour. Now, there is a bit more of a reason to why we did this as well, because we've got a whole bunch of these helmets built and ready to be this colour, but there was no point in painting it that colour when we knew it. Yeah. I, I, to be honest, I did think it was going to be um, a lot more obvious. Mm -hmm. I thought when we got the two helmets together, you would really see it was the wrong colour, and this was our, you know, this was our ace in the hole to fix the colour. Uh, it wasn't that bad, but anyway, we've got the right colour. The molecules sussed it out, and now these helmets can be painted. Yeah, we've got a few them and go their mothers and them. <coughs> yeah, them. There's, pile yeah there's a few. I think Clarky shared some photographs the other day on oh, okay. social media. If you follow that, I was Popmasters on Facebook and um, Instagram. Thanks for doing that. Um, so, yeah, so there's a the colour. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, also, the little, um, the little stick on things, let's deal with them. Yes. Because they were kind of placeholder ones. And. We knew they needed to be a little bit shallower. Yep. And we have now got the correct ones for the whole helmets. Got got all the correct ones. Um, would like to have a little bit of thanks to J Tire Pilot who saved me the time of going to look for them by just sending me the thing. Yeah. So thanks, Jay. Okay, so moving on to the next one. Um, as we mentioned, J Tire Pilot. J Tire Pilot makes the um, makes the cogs. There's no point in us making the cogs. There's no need for us to make them. We could make them, but J Tire Pilot makes them. So, you know, he's a pal, friend of RS. So he's going to make the cogs for us. Why not? Now, we stuck those on because we had them here and we were building this prototype. Mm -hmm. Got it next to the original one. Cogs look different. I was shocked. So is it the colour? I was, I was aghast. Is it the colour, the size? Is that the word? Aghast? Aghast, yeah. Aghast? I was aghast. Aghast. I looked at it and I, I noticed the cogs and I was like this. <gasps> really? Yeah. Did someone have to wind you? <laughs> <laughs> no, they didn't. <laughs> I'm good at producing wind. So I noticed that, yeah, noticed that they were wrong. I okay. spoke, spoke to Jay about it and... <clears throat> Um, basically, you did three batches of colour. I'm explaining this now because when you see the photos together, you're going to yeah, see yeah. that they're wrong. Um, you did three batches of them, like a lighter one, a mid, a darker one. And 
we happen to have some of the darker ones. Yeah. I mean, they're not a million miles out. They're probably better than most replicas out there. Mm -hmm. But they could be right. And they are right, because it, 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 this is from the darker batch. Okay, so uh, that's two things that are wrong with it, both relating to colour. Yeah? Okay. Um, the tusks and the little forehead greebly were always placeholders. Yep. And we knew we were having our own aluminium machined ones, so not really a fault. We, we knew at the beginning that they weren't going to be right. Mm -hmm. um, all the measurements are done, and they're off to the machine shop. So that's those two. Okay, so I think that just leaves us with the other thing that's wrong with it. And this is a weird one. I've got to thank Kyle, who got in touch with us, and was asking about the red stripe on the rear canisters. Okay. So on the original helmet that exists, that we've been to see, yeah. there is a thick red stripe on the left-hand side canister as you look at it from the rear. Yes. It's not in the movie. What? It's not in the movie. What? It's not in the movie. What? So, how? Been put on afterwards? Don't know. Well, yeah, must have been. Yeah. That, that tells you there may well be more outtakes of ATAP pilots. Don't know. Don't know where it's come from. Don't know what the reason for it is. But in the movie, if you analyse... I, I mean, I was trying to debunk the theory. and It is there, yeah. and, it is, and the reason why we don't see it is because X, Y, Z can't do. Mm. It does not appear to be there. Yep. Um... So we will probably be going with the screen. You uh, the screen. Well, we will be going with the screen used variant, which is a thin red line yep. on the right hand canister as you look at it from the rear. Yeah. Gets complicated with lefts and rights. Yeah. Right as you're wearing it. Right as you're looking at. <laughs> check check out this footage again. Here it is. So there's everything that's wrong with the Atta helmet as we originally saw it. And there's everything fixed. Yeah, who better to fix well, it? Well, not there, because that's still the same yeah. that we've been pointing at the whole time. But the, those are all the fixes or the things that, improvements or, is that what we're going to call them, improvements? Modifications, improvements, yeah. Yeah, modifications, yeah. They're all the mods that are going to take place between the prototype and the finished helmet. 20 seconds, Paul. That's all there is. It's in the film for 20 seconds. 20 seconds. So there's 20 seconds of Attack Driver spread over five and a half minutes. Yeah. I think the Hoth battle's a little yeah. bit longer, but... Yeah. Do you in know? essence, yeah. Yeah. I wish it was longer. That's the magic of movies. Oh. So imagine when they were actually filming that, they've, they've probably filmed it in like minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Minutes. But again. They just sat there and they're just like. Mm. Uh. Yeah, <laughs> probably, yeah, probably didn't even say anything. So I was, <clears throat> I was thinking, before I knew the time was 20 seconds, I was thinking, oh, they're probably going to be on for a minute. I would have guessed in about a minute or something. Yeah. And I thought, oh, I wonder, they probably. They're probably on for enough time it would take to make um, a nice Rustler's burger in a microwave. Rustler's, not to tasty, in 70 seconds. Yeah? Yeah. But it's 20 seconds. So y you eat a Rustler's burger after 20 seconds, it's probably going to be like, well, it's definitely not cooked. Mm. Or it's definitely not, it's probably cooked already, isn't it? It won't be reheated, but it's mm. not going to taste very nice. So I was trying to get Sai to eat. A Rustler's burger that had only been in the microwave for 20 seconds. <laughs> right. Does he put them in the mi microwave? He, or does uh, I don't know. Can you eat them straight out of the fridge without warming them up? You probably can without doing you any harm. Mm. Anyway, he wouldn't do it. What he said, he reckoned he could eat a Big Mac in 20 seconds. Really? Mm. Do you reckon the, you can eat the a whole Big shebang? Mac? Yeah. Wow. A Big Mac. Yes. 20 seconds, do you reckon you can do it? I'll give it a go, but sadly, it won't be a beef burger. I don't do, I don't dig beef.
Don't worry. What? I've already got you covered. Don't you dare. They're doing a chicken Big Mac. Really? Get in. Nice. I'm, I'm, I'm up for it. Bit of free food. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bring it on. What have we got? Big Mac for you, chicken Big Mac for you. Oh, I'm sure this in. is a Big Mac and not a chicken one. Let me just have a quick look at it. I mean, I don't mind chicken, but oh, I don't particularly in. want a chicken Big Mac. Hang on, hang on. There's an awful lot of salad they hanging they out seem to have. They seem to have forgotten sauce on my food. No, you asked me to remove it. Ah, uh, a little HP plug. Ah, that's disgusting. It's not disgusting. Look what he's doing. Get, get, get some. How to ruin a McDonald's. Well, one, order chicken. Oh my God, it's a big double one. It's a Big Mac. Have you ever had a Big Mac? Yeah. <laughs> Is that my knee? You missed that, he just got it all over himself. I've got it on my nose. Right, ready. No, no. <clears throat> this is a shit idea. So, Simon said he could do it. Can we eat a Big Mac in less time than the ATAT drivers are on screen the entirety of the movie Empire Strikes Back? No. I was pretty confident before I had it right in my hand like this. Yeah. Are you ready? Get set. Eat! Whoops, it is. Oh, bro, bro, bro. That was really bad. What's up? Back to 20. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Arf, what did you manage? I might well, might well finish it. Mm. Well, you can't even eat a Big Mac for the amount of time the attacks, the attack drivers are on screen. However, there is silver lining to this challenge, Paul. Seeing as though you've almost at your dinner, we don't need to have dinner time. <laughs> we can just carry on working. Ah, oh, lovely. Well, that's it for this week. <laughs> Thanks Bye. for watching. More update probably after we'll be coming. But um, until next time. <sighs> Thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>